I have a special connection with Escape in general because I've studied here. I did my master's degree in game art. I've worked here for a little bit as a studio assistant and this is essentially, this would be the course that I would have wanted to be on if I knew it existed. We've been really lucky, haven't we, with mm. the people that have helped us design these courses from incredible companies. Mm -hmm. So from PlayStation London Studio, we've had the lead uh, technical artist who was lead artist and now lead technical artist helping us with the design. For character creation, we were very lucky to have a senior um, character creator um, at some Rocksteady games. Which is amazing. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, from Framestore, we've had a huge amount of support mm -hmm. as well from um, the, the immersive uh, uh, entertainment department, so technical artists and the, the head of the department as well. Yeah, we've also had um, the lead character rigor for Creative Assembly, um, as well as um, I think one of the lead um, game designers as well. Yeah, absolutely. From both like a perspective of myself and Framestore where I currently work, the reason why we wanted to be involved in designing the technical art course uh, for Escape specifically is because one, we need a lot of upcoming talents that are kind of like work ready and understand how the inner workings of software works. You don't need to know understand everything, but to have a good foundation with it is important so that when, when we work with people from an internship or junior artists, they have a good understanding of what is happening behind the scenes. Having professional inputs is absolutely perfect for it. So that a course is shaped by the people that work in the industry means that you know that you're learning the right stuff. You're a bridge between uh, an artist and a programmer you need to be able to kind of like converse to anyone. You need to be quite sociable. You're not going to be working in solitude because you're essentially a pro problem solver. So communication, problem solving, and then um, I guess just a wide knowledge base. And don't be afraid of math because it's not the same way as in school. It's genuinely more fun because all the maths that you do it's applied to something visual. So if you are figuring out um, how to change a color from red to green, if you put it down on paper as a mathematic expression, it's incredibly dull and boring and I wouldn't want to do it. But if you see something in front of your eyes change from red to green on a light that pops on or an explosion that goes from bright to dark, suddenly it's fascinating and you don't even realize you're doing math. The advice I will give would be don't get attached to what you're doing and trying to figure out what exactly the needs uh, of what you're creating are. Uh, you need to really break down the problems. Some things might be very challenging and daunting, but once you break it down uh, and tackle one at a time, uh, things get easier. The qualities we're looking for in our uh, applicants are people who are problem solvers. Right? Yeah. People who um, have a love of technical things, of artistic things. People who are resilient because you are going to get stuff wrong and the answers to certain problems aren't going to just present themselves and appear out of nowhere. It's going to take kind of iteration and time yeah. to kind of come to the right solution. So people who don't get dissuaded by things being difficult at yeah. first. Yeah, curious. You've got yeah. to be curious and you've got to adapt. 